Hello everyone! Many of you, after installing Stable Diffusion locally on your computer or using Google Colab, asked me how to add additional models inside Stable Diffusion. So today, that's what we are going to talk about. Before starting, let's see where we can find the models. The most used ones are from Hugging Face, and we just need to go into the Hugging Face website you will need to sign up or log in if you have an account, this is for free. And in case of Stable Diffusion version 1.5, you can find the model weights on this page. You just need to scroll down a little bit and then you will have here original GitHub repository, download the weights, and then you just need to click on them for downloading them. So this is Stable Diffusion version 1.5. Another common one is version 5 in painting. And again, you need to go into Hugging Face. You can just type here in painting and it should come out with something. Yeah, Stable Diffusion in painting, you can click here. And then again, you see if you scroll down, you have, here you go, Stable Diffusion version 1.5 in painting. You just need to click on that and the download will start automatically. Now, it will take a little bit of time to download, but it will be worth it. Another website where you can get the checkpoints is CBIT AI. Again, you need to sign in or log in if you have an account already. It will ask you to sign in with Discord, GitHub, Google, Reddit, and, or with your email. So once you sign in, or once you log in, you will have plenty of models made by other people. If you want, you can also upload your own model if you trained one, which is super cool. Otherwise, you can download a model made by someone else. You see here, you can sort them by highest rated, most downloaded, let's have a look. Most of them are anime, I would say. And yeah, and then here you have other filters you can use. It's quite useful. And then you can click on them. Let's go on to this one. And you have all of the information regarding the model. So last update, the version, the base model. You have everything here. You also have, I think this is very important, you have the rating. It's something I usually look at because I want to make sure that it's a good one. And you can see the reviews down here. And then again, you can download it by clicking this button here. And this is for free. As you can see, it's downloading already. So I'm gonna stop it now. Okay, let's go straight to the point and let's add models into Google Colab. Now for doing that, you should have run the Colab notebook already once. So this means that you should have a folder called Stable Diffusion into your Google Drive. If you don't have it, you need to run the Google notebook first, and then you do these steps we're going to do now. If you don't know how to install Stable Diffusion using Google Colab, you can have a look at this video, it should appear somewhere now. I also left a link down in the description of the video, you can just click the link and it will send you directly into the Colab notebook and you can just run each section. It's really, really straightforward. So once you run the Colab notebook and you have this stable diffusion into your Google Drive, you go into Google Drive. And here we are. And as you can see, you should have this SD folder here which stands for Stable Diffusion. You click into here and you go into Stable Diffusion Web UI and then you go into Models and then you go into Stable Diffusion and here you have all of your models and what you have to do, you just need to upload all of your downloaded models inside this folder, super easy. The only downside is that it takes a little bit of time depending on how heavy is the, um, is the model. Now, when you run your Stable Diffusion, you should have just this model checkpoint file, so you don't have this Stable Diffusion version 1.5 in painting. This is the model I have added today inside this folder, and I did it because it takes a little bit of time to upload on Google Drive, at least now because my internet is really bad at the moment. So I can show you with another model. Once you download your checkpoint, that will go into your downloaded folder, so in my case, here I have the checkpoints I downloaded today. So what you have to do, you can just drag and drop the file inside. So in my case, I will do this. Now it seems it's going pretty quickly now, but I don't think it will take four minutes. Anyway, I'm going to cancel it for now. Okay. And now what we have to do, once you uploaded all of the models you want to 
use into your stable diffusion, you go back into your Google Colab notebook, which is this one, and you just run the file again. That's it. So what you have to do, you first connect your Google Colab to your Google Drive. I know that running this file every time is really annoying, but this is how it works with Google Colab. Like every time you run a new file on Google Colab, it's like you are connecting on a new computer. It's like you're working on a new computer. So you have to do it. Okay, I've got this error now. I think that the issue is that I have more than one Google account, so I'm going to log out from all of them and I'm going to connect to the one I'm going to use for Google Colab. So I will sign out this one. And I'll go back here and I will run it again. Hopefully it will work. Yeah, worked, perfect. Now we go through this again. And then here, when you want to load the model, you just tick this uh, checkbox, redownload the original model, and then you run it. Okay, I'm going to install just one control net extension just to make things quicker and easier, but this is up to you really. Okay, and then I'm going to run this last bit of code. If you have a Gradio account, you can just add your username and password. It will access directly on, on your Gradio interface. And okay, now it should be connected. We just click on this URL link. I'm gonna click to continue here. And here is our stable diffusion. Now let's double check if we have the models. The available models are shown into this uh, drop down, And here you can see now you have model and stable diffusion version 1.5 in painting. And if you want to switch between one or the other, you just click here and then you choose whichever you want. So let's try with stable diffusion version 1.5. Okay, let's see if it works. I'm just gonna type something very quickly to see if it's working. I always like typing a woman with a red hat smoking a cigarette. Cigarette. And then now almost yeah so it's actually working so that's great okay and that's it so great you can now use different models into stable diffusion using google collab now let's do it locally locally is even easier to be honest so what you have to do you go into your stable diffusion folder then you go into models then you go into stable diffusion and then here in this folder you need to copy and paste all of the models you downloaded. So in my case I just have this model and then I'm going to move the downloaded model, the in-painting one, into this uh, folder. That's it. So now what we have to do, we need to go into our terminal and just uh, run the usual web UI file. If you don't know how to install Stable Diffusion on your Mac locally, this is the link to my video. Let's now run Stable Diffusion locally and see if the model is actually there. So to do that, we need to go into our terminal and then dive into the folder where we have our web UI file and run it. Now I'm going to use warp, but feel free to use your default terminal. Here you go. Let's see where we are. Then we dive into desktop, stable diffusion, stable diffusion, web UI. Then let's see what we have here. And yeah, I need to run this web UI file. Click on, and then here we have our stable diffusion. Now again, here we should have our models and we can swap between one or the other and here you go. And that's it for today. This was a really, really quick tutorial on how to add models into your stable diffusion. I hope this was useful. See you in the next video. Bye.